So here we are. Here's another story for you. This is uh, reported on Twitter. This was Francis Ryan who writes for uh, MSM. I think it's The Guardian. She's a disabled person um, reporter. And uh, she reported this today. This is the new uh, Minister for Disabled People, Health and Work. So it's not just the uh, Minister for Disabled People, as we all know, because we had, we've had lots of those. You may, may recall um, Theresa Coffey, Cup of Coffey, you may remember her. And we've had, uh, who else we've had? Oh God, loads of them. Um, and the latest one, um, wasn't it Mouse Dried, I think, or something like that. Anyway, I'm not really that up on who's for who, because they change um, uh, quicker than, you know, dirty underwear. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But this one is significant because what they've done is they're merging the disabled people minister with health and work, especially the key word there, work. So essentially what they're doing is they are lumping everybody, everything in together because they're expecting disabled people, as we know, to go to work, even if they can't. Now, does this mean that they're only interested in the more able people, like the more able disabled, and the rest of them can go to hell? Or is it the fact that they want everybody who's disabled into work, regardless of whether they can or not? It's a, a debatable point, but this is Mims Davis, and uh, she is the Minister for Disabled People, Health and Work. So more on her as time goes on, but you can see what they're doing. You can see this whole thing. We had the um, the report the other day, uh, which I uh, get, made a video on, how they expect you to work from home if you're disabled, and we've got all this thing about uh, cutting benefits. We've got all the thing about the, uh, the UC thing coming up. We've got loads of different aspects of targeting the less able. Before we go, uh, we need to have a look at the voting record for this minister. Uh, she has a record for, for, for voting against anything to do with equal rights, human rights or disability. So it is going to be typical. Uh, she was very much like Theresa Covey, who hated disabled people and uh, voted against various other things like giving them, like giving them money or taking money away from them. She voted for that, unfortunately. And of course, it's not, not ending yet. In fact, I don't think it will ever end. But hey, you know, this is the, um, the, the state of the UK that we live in. Right, that's the story. I'll give you more when I know. <laughs> but anyway, have a good day. I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Hello, just a reminder that if you are worried about your data being sold or being used or abused then there's a service that's called Incogni and go to their website to find out more and also if you do sign up then you will be helping me by allowing me to get a small commission and also helping yourself to prevent yourself and your data and your information from being abused so please do consider and have a look at the link below.